Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So the Toronto Maple Leafs just released a brand new jersey and this jersey, it is wild. This is the most unique and innovative jerseys that I have ever seen. I think it is very, very cool what they have done with this jersey here. So of course with this jersey, it is actually reversible. You have two different jerseys basically in one. I think that is really, really cool. Now, do I actually like the way that they executed it? We'll kind of get into that, but I think the idea of this is very awesome. Like I really like it a lot. I think it's a ton of fun. I think this is a really cool step and something that some other teams could do in the future as well. I think this kind of opens it up for a lot of new ideas with jerseys. So I'm really, really excited about this thing, but let's talk about it. Let's get in depth with this jersey here. So let's talk about the regular side of the jersey first, and then we'll talk about the inverse side. Uh, that obviously I have a lot more kind of to say about it. But with this regular side here, I actually really like this jersey a lot. I think if it was just this jersey and you couldn't reverse it to basically make another jersey, I think this would be a great jersey for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I like jerseys in black. I know a lot of people don't like black jerseys, but personally, I like the jerseys in black. I like the Leafs in black. I mean, as you can see here, I am wearing a black Leafs jersey. This is a fashion jersey, but it reminds me a ton of of this jersey right here because it is a little bit similar although the striping is blue instead of the gray but either way I think this jersey is really really nice I especially like the details on the logo in particular there I like how it's not just one color and it's almost like a tie-dye effect in a way where it has that black and blue in it I think that is a ton of fun it's something super different with the Toronto Maple Leafs so I really like that aspect of this jersey here and I really like the striping on this jersey as well in between the two blue stripes it has basically the skyline integrated into it very subtly and I really like that aspect of the jersey a lot I think that's very cool and the pattern kind of gives it also a little bit of that tie-dye effect I don't know if that's really the correct way to kind of say it but basically the same effect as that logo there so I really like that aspect of the jersey in terms of the customization I think that's just fine it's nothing really too special it's basically just white font and then it has a little bit of black in the middle so I think that's just okay. It's nothing special. It's nothing unique. I probably maybe wouldn't want the black numbers, even though they are outlined by the white. I think that's maybe a little bit too much, but either way, I still think it looks fine. It's nothing to complain about. I definitely don't hate it for sure. But overall, just looking at the regular side of the jersey, I think it's fun. I like it. I think it's cool. It's something that I definitely would buy. Now let's talk about the flip side of the jersey, the other side of the jersey, which is basically the main kind of talking point about this jersey, because there's a lot of different things to talk about with this other side of the jersey. The first off being that it is a collaboration in between Drew House and the Maple Leafs. And if you guys don't know Drew House, it's basically Justin Bieber's clothing line. Now for me personally, I don't really care about Justin Bieber. I don't like him. I don't dislike him. I've heard some of his songs before. Some I liked, some I didn't like. I don't really have a huge opinion on Justin Bieber. I've seen very little of his clothing line. They don't really seem like my style. I don't really have any interest in them. They're also extremely expensive. So how do I feel about them collabing on a jersey here? Well, I kind of get it. Austin Matthews and Justin Bieber are good friends or, you know, they've hung out a couple of times. It seems like they're good friends. So I get that aspect of it. But the kind of issue that I have is I don't think I like it on a jersey. And for me personally, when I kind of was thinking, I, I, I was half like, I kind of like this and I don't mind this. And I, I was very in the middle on this jersey. But how I kind of came to the decision on whether I like at least this part of the jersey, the flip side part of the jersey, was would I ever wear this outside? And the answer is no, I just really wouldn't. It's just not something that I would like to wear personally. So for me, that's kind of how I came to the decision that I don't really like this side of the jersey, but there's definitely aspects of this side of the jersey that I like. First of all, like I said at the start of the video, I do like the idea of the reversible jersey. I think that is really, really cool, but there are some things that just don't work. And I think they basically need to kind of innovate this a little bit more to make it actually work a little bit better. The main issue that I have with this is the stitching that you can see. So I will say the stitching of the logo itself, they did a really good job implementing that onto this kind of side of the jersey. I think that actually works really well, how it's basically just a white leaf outline and then it has that smaller kind of Drew House leaf, whatever you want to call it. I do like that part of the jersey. I think that works really, really well. But the parts that don't work is basically the striping on the sleeves there. You can see the basically the stitching and it just does not look good. It doesn't look like it's it looks like it's inside out really is what it looks like. It just doesn't look like it should be inside out. It looks really, really bad. It, it doesn't really look like it fits properly in my eyes. So I really don't like that aspect of this kind of side of the jersey. I do like the black and the gold, though. I do like that aspect. And I know that there's been kind of some 
Well, there's basically been fake jerseys that have been out there for a while that have the Leafs in the black and the gold colors. And I kind of liked the idea of those jerseys. So I do like the black and the gold for the Leafs. But like I said, with the fact that it has the Drew House logo, I don't absolutely love that aspect of it. And with the stitching as well, I don't like that part. The main issue that I have with this jersey and basically why I think they almost shouldn't have gone ahead with this reversible jersey, I think it's that bad of an error. If you look at the backside, you can see the fight strap. The fight strap will just be basically hanging out if you wear this jersey inside out. It looks really bad. It's basically just like a tail. You're basically just wearing a tail out in public, which I mean, some people do. Uh, but anyways, for me, no. Like I straight up would never wear a jersey like this. Like. You're basically, you might as well just wear any jersey inside out at that point. It kind of feels like the same thing. Like, I just don't think it looks good at all. I really don't get how they didn't think of some sort of way to resolve that issue. Like, honestly, I think it's such a problem that there's no point in doing a reversible jersey with this fight strap being there. Like, I just think it looks that bad. And I really, I, I don't know how you resolve it. I really don't. The only thing that kind of helps it is to not have a fight strap. So basically, you're now resorting to buying a Fanatics jersey. And honestly, I almost would rather buy a Fanatics jersey of this thing so you could wear it reversible. But if someone were to wear the jersey in the black and the gold in an Adidas, it would just look really dumb. Like, honestly, like you would almost just even need to take the fight strap off. Like, that's how bad it looks. Like, I just really, really, really don't like that aspect of this jersey here. I think that is 100% the worst part of the jersey. And another thing about this jersey is if you get a name and number on this jersey, how is it going to look when you have it flipped inside out? Like, it's not going to look very good because from at least we've seen one picture that has it flipped inside out and it's just the sleeve number. That's all you can see. That is basically just, you know, the stitching of the two. That's all you can really see. But I'm very interested to see how it would look on the back because the numbers would be flipped. So how is that going to work? And also, how is the name bar going to work? Because it's just going to be the name bar. So are you going to stitch Matthews or Marner or, you know, whose ever name on the other side there? Like, how is that going to look? So I'm really just not quite too sure if it's executed properly with this jersey here. I really like the idea of having a reversible jersey. I don't really love the fact that it's a Drew House Maple Leafs collaboration. I don't like that aspect of it, but I like the fact that it is a reversible jersey. I think that's really cool. I just don't think it's executed that greatly. And honestly, I don't really know how you kind of fix it. The only other way to sort of fix it in my mind is basically to have an extra layer of fabric so you don't have that basically stitching lines on the other side. But then that also creates more problems because it's a thicker jersey and I don't know how well that really looks. So I don't really know how you resolve this issue of the stitching basically. But I, like I said, I like the idea. I really, really do. I don't love the execution of this jersey. So overall, what are my thoughts on this jersey and am I going to buy it? Well, I will buy it because I am a Leafs fan and I kind of want every single jersey that they have. So I will buy this jersey at some point. Don't know if I'm going to buy it right away or exactly what I'm going to do, but I will buy it. Now, I do like the regular side of the jersey, the black and the blue. I think that looks great. And I really like that jersey. If it was just that jersey, I'd be fine with this. I would really like it a lot. Now for the other side of the jersey, that's where, like I said, it really falls apart for me. I like the idea of it, but just the execution, it's not quite there yet. It just doesn't really look that great in my opinion. I don't think I would ever wear that jersey on the reverse side unless I'm wearing it in a video just to kind of show it off. But other than that, like if I'm wearing the jersey around the house or I'm going outside and I'm wearing the jersey, I'll never wear it on that Drew House side. I don't really just, that's just not for me. So that's my opinion on the jersey. Like I said at the start of the video, it's really unique and I like the idea. Just the execution isn't quite there. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like this jersey? Do you like the Drew House and the Toronto Maple Leafs collaboration? Or are you not really a fan of it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But like I said, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.